Hello everyone, my name is Drumat and I want today to look at some great Talia walls from Worlds. We will see three types of ultimates. The first is the wall that separates a team from the rest of their team rendering him unable to access the team fight. The second is the wall that traps a team in the range of another team and in close proximity to their tower and the third is the wall that secures an objective. We will have multiple examples in the same game of this kind of wall. So let's jump right into it. The first showcased ultimate is in the quarterfinals second game where Samsung Galaxy defeated Long Zhu. Watch how Crown pats around the map and positions as such so he separates Oriana from the rest of her team, rendering her useless for the entire fight. This is a recommended strategy to try in ranked games in late game as your damage falls off and you need to create some utility with your wall. The second showcased ultimate is in the third game of SKT vs Misfits. It did not win the game nor turn it around, but it's a perfect example of how you can trap a team in a dangerous position, especially when the enemy top laner has a cooldown on teleport. We can also notice here a common Talia strategy being used, standing in an unwarded zone to catch someone with your combo. It seems to work at every level of play. The third example comes from the fourth game of Cloud9 vs Team World Elite. Team World Elite uses a simple strat for all three base towers and inhibitors using wall to separate the enemy team from the tower. They did this tactic repeatedly, securing 3 towers and further improving their advantage. Actually, I think tanked there by Ben. Kyo's that's it up, but Mystic's still there. Shockwave is good. They killed Mystic. They killed him. Managed to take down the threat. Still, Cena moving forward. Can it be too aggressive? But Condi is actually going to go down to Jensen. Grabs himself a double kill. 957 is going to be the third, and C9 hole. Again, playing safe, fading back for a wall angle. There's a good one. Going to cut them off from the turret completely. Pillar under the minions, but W is going to take down the turret. Great geometry here with these Weaver's walls. This game perfectly bisects the entire team of C9 going to be three exposed inhibitors, two already down. So that's going to be it for now guys, follow these simple ultimate tips and also try them in the practice tool along with your WEQ combo and you shall climb the ladder in no time. I might also make a rune guide in the future but until then I will answer any questions regarding that subject also in the comments. If you found this video useful please consider subscribing if you didn't already and thanks so much for watching, goodbye guys.